What is up, all my YouTube wonders? Welcome back to the Durham channel, and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. Yes, we are back playing more Game Dev Tycoon. Obviously, this is recorded with the last one. There will probably be three, four, all recorded one after another after another. Because uh, I'm really enjoying this game. I really enjoy batch recording this. So, uh, obviously, nothing changed in the background recently. You guys are kind of used to seeing what you see. Still got the uh, same G Fuel 3. But hopefully here soon, I will be trying to get another layer of Funkos to put up there. But obviously, still don't show up the NXT belt because I'm a nerd. But yes, we're going to be jumping back into this. And boy, the end of the last episode, if you didn't see that, go back and watch that. It was insane. I'm an idiot. Sorry, guys. Ready? Watch this. Let's go like that. I'm an idiot. I didn't have my light on, but natural light. But yes, so let's jump back into it. But before we do that, hey, I, I see you. Go down below this video. See the subscribe button as it pushed? Hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like video if you are enjoying. Hit the notification bell. Heck, even go share it to your friends. Because why not have them join us? Have a little bit of fun. Then I'll see just go over down like there somewhere and uh, go comment tell me what's your favorite flavor of ice cream why because I enjoy ice cream let's get back to game dev tycoon so as you can see we're right here right after Ninvento has just ditched the play system uh, they're looking for a distribution deal that isn't unfavorable and they only took too much. Seems to be the end of the play system. So Dance Forever is getting its reviews. We didn't get this in the last video, so. Beautiful. Sevens. Hey. Give me an eight. Give me an Oh, seven. Nice experience. All right. Give me an eight. 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 Seven. All right. Good game. Give me an eight. Push it above that flat seven. Ah, oh, flat seven. Enjoyable. All righty. We are researching 3D graphics V1 so that we can now create a new custom engine. We're making the Bubble Engine Plus. Maybe I should go without the space. What would it. Without the space. You know what? No, no, no. We're going to go Bubble Engine 2. Bubble Engine 2. We are going to take 3D graphics out of it. There's no reason to put those in. We have. Or 2D, we'll put 3D in. Simple cutscenes along with linear story. Game tutorials, better user experience, save game, better dialogues, level editor, open world is a possibility. Mono sound, we have put all these things in to the Bubble Engine 2. Now we will take the time to put in all these tech points. The test is coming off the market. The super test is still out. Let's see, Dance Forever still did some good. Boss, I just discovered some really dedicated fans of Nightwatch. Interesting, our detective games create a fan game using a lot of material. They don't make any money with it or just interesting to do it for fellow fans. Our legal advisor strongly suggests we wouldn't allow this. Let them be! Oh, shut up, you legal butts! All right. No. You need a vacation. And so do you, Jared King. Marcus and Jared on vacation. Clinton Vincent still here. Uh, you could generate a... Oh, we didn't do one on either game. And I will look at what topics. Uh, I guess we could just actually do casual games. I don't like doing casual games. Hi, I'm Denise Reed, the main developer of the Nightwatch fan game. I've recently been informed that your legal department has advised you to stop us. And I just want to say I'm grateful that you didn't. Bubble Boy Games is the best company in the world, and I'm glad to be part of the fan community. Yeah, be part of the Durham YouTube community, too! 982 fans. Oh my god, the smiley face is the button so great. Oh my god. Dance Forever is off the market. It... Sold okay. Didn't sell godly great. Release of Dan or 
uh, analysis for Dance from Forever. Dance simulation, great. Graphics, uh, very important. And Dance and Young is great. Uh, Jared King is still new. Really, Jared King still needs some more time. So the TES is no longer supported. We didn't make many games for the TES. So analysis of Storybook Detective. Detective Simulation is okay. Dialogue's not important. So, we're going to develop our own game. Let's do a medium game. Let's actually do... What if we do... I think we do an Assassin's Butcher. Assassin's Action Game. Put on the Super Test. Thank you, Super Test. With the Bumble Engine 2. And we call it... We're calling it Hopeless Revenge. Why? I have no idea. I just kind of like the name. And we are going to make it a 3D graphic V1 game. Our first game to have 3 D graphics, man. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, engine's important. Story and quest is actually more important here. Gameplay can come down, but need some good. Linear story, simple cutscenes, better user experience. Got to get everything in here. Let's see. I really for engine. Engine's any tech. I don't know if I want to throw my big tech guy on that yet. Let's just throw Jared King, our smaller tech guy. Uh, you're not good at tech. But design for stories and quests. And Clinton Harris, you can take gameplay. Obviously, I'm not going to be putting much into this game yet. Uh, not having my own section yet. Everyone obviously t jumps in, but not having a section of the game to really focus on yet. But level design, yes. The AI is a little bit less. The dialogue's come up a bit. But... AI, I want to make sure Vincent Stevens is basically a focus on that. Better dialogues, level editor, because it's going to be great. Uh, I'll take level design. And I think actually I'll give Clinton Harris. You'll take dialogues. Alrighty, throw more points in there. We have a lot of research points. Uh, I definitely think I want to do some training for all the guys. Just level them up a little bit. Ah, playing GG. Developing a game for mature audiences. Well, let's give an interview. The interview will come out in the next week, so watch two. Do. And right after this, we should have it. Mono Sounds Open World. Which I think will take this game to the next level. I want to say honestly, even though it sounds like 2 plus, like... Think graphics. Or world design. In my opinion, the graphics over the world design, but not by a ton. I will take graphics. I will. I'm thinking this game. I want to have a big hand in it. My character, uh, uh, Vincent for this. Vincent's gonna have a big piece, and then Marcus, you could take this for world design. You should be doing a lot more of the design stuff. Uh, so yeah, me and Vincent. This will be definitely our. Love child. Planet GG has recently published an interview with Bobo Boy Games. According to the interview, the company is working on its first game targeted at mature players. Derm, owner and CEO of Bobo Boy Games, said, We think that players are looking for more mature content in games and we're willing to take the risk to give it to them. Many industry experts say that sooner or later, games with mature themes will become more common. We are curious to see how the market reacts to these games. No strong trends, good. The young trend went off, which means it went back up a bit, which I think would be perfect for us to come out with this mature game. We're getting a lot of fans, 20,000 fans. A lot of bugs in this. We've got to work out. We only have almost have 100 research. Let's finish it. New records for both, Hopeless Revenge. Gameplay getting a level up. Me, Clinton, Vincent, and Marcus all getting level up. Jared King almost there. It's time to release due to the increase in experience. Obviously, when you increase experience, they're going to want a bit more. K 
Character progression. All right, you. Give me character progression. Just to have it researched. We can't do 3D graphics, 2D graphics, okay. You, uh... Mm, you're a tech person more. Let's go code and complete. Uh, you... Uh, game design for pirates. Alright, reviews for Hopeless Revenge, a 3D game? Oh no. Oh. Could have been better six, alright. Has its moments, alright. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you all games, you guys could have given me a better score, but alright. Let's throw training into you also for... Uh, make me think... What if we do Don't Repeat Yourself? Ooh, okay. I definitely picked the right ones for these two. You're getting tech, you're getting design. Also, I'm gonna real quick generate a game report for this. Uh, hmm. See where I went wrong. I'm hoping there's some other really cool things that come up in this game. And I'm really hoping. Initial sales have fallen way below expected numbers. Isn't popular, isn't very popular chosen platform. So the super test is not good for mature games. I should have gone for a PC launch. Uh, you, research, new topic, what can we do? I guess just get vocabulary out of the way. I don't know if I really want to be putting out a vocabulary game. I guess I can do another young game, mad scientist, mad science. You can go on vacation since you're slightly stressed. So the game report, world design, not important. Super test and action, okay. Super test and mature is, mature is bad. All right. Research, what other topics have popped up? Law, extreme sports. Sure, and when all these are done, we will, I think, do a publishing deal. Because I do think publishing deals are smart. It'll help build our fans and stuff. So, publishing deal. What do they want? I don't want to do Vina Gear. Assassin. Don't want to do that. Extreme Sports Simulation. Medium Game 5. Fuck yeah. I haven't done a racing game, have I? I probably have. Okay. Extreme Sports Simulation. Medium, everyone. Extreme Sports Simulation. Super Test. Bubble. Oh my god. Let's see, uh, what's an extreme sports game? I'm just calling it extreme sports, that's what it is. Heart Racer! Don't know, that's kind of what I came up with off the top of my head. Alright, another medium game, we have a publishing deal, so hopefully they should start putting out little things about like, hey! So, this is what we had last time that kind of kept people in similar spots again, having back-to-back -back medium games. Uh, for an extreme sports simulation. For a simulation game... Yeah, I think I'd actually go lower stories and quests. And this is 97% because you're not putting enough in to really get these 100% of what their potential is. Which I think is fine. You can go on vacation. I'm going to work people a little longer so they actually need vacation, not just... I'm starting to think about vacation. After this game, I think whoever needs vacations will go. I don't think vacations! I'm a god! AI, yes. AI should be the number one thing. Level designs, a little less. Dialogues, I feel like in a simulation, aren't like the biggest thing, but it's decent. And I think maybe even less on the other two. Really give Vincent Stevens something to do in this game. Kind of like the breakdown of people. So hopefully Revenge is off the market. Made us a small bit of money. Uh, we are not doing the greatest in cash. Uh, hopefully this publishing deal will still give us a good amount of money. Hopefully we do go in this game. Yeah, graphics. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, Vincent Stevens, again, putting his big mark on these games. I, I think Vincent's one of our big... 
Ooh, game convention! Yes, this is what I've been waiting for! We have been following your progress in the recent years and would like to extend this formal invitation to participate in the biggest game convention on the planet. Games, 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 also known as G3. Having your own booth on... Having your own company booth at G3, you can gain a lot of followers. We will contact you yearly about booth options. Hopefully to see you at G3. So now we'll be able to take ourselves to G3, whatever we're coming up with at the current time and coming down the pipeline. Oh. It's always so fun. The games, when you have a game that's being developed around the time of G3, gets, gets hype, gets built up. New records, baby! Level design, graphics, 3D value. Jared King gets an upgrade. Make a little more money. Better AI and stereo sound. Alright. Reviews for Heart Racer. And... Oh, it's okay. Great combination. Thought I thought so when I took it. Mm-hmm. Good game, thank you. Simulation works well on the Super TS. Super TS. Boss, it seems like quite a few players use illegal copies of Heart Racer. I've managed to identify them. We could sue and defend our copyright. <sighs> this time, I'm going to say sue them. The first time when you're making like a game and not making profit off it, it's fine. This is theft. And I'm not trying to support that. We are suing them. Alright, I'm going to generate a game report for Heart Racer. You research stereo sound. You research. I can't do... Oh, I don't have money. Hold on. Let me just uh, get some money. You research. Better AI. Uh, Ninvento. The game meets our requirement, required ratings. Thank you. Ooh. Yes, we have taken is increasingly big problems. We lost fans, won a little bit of money. We are not making much money. Post race analysis, great combo. Quite important, great, great, good. Extreme sports and everyone is bad. Weird. Maybe they want mature so they see blood and stuff. Alright. Contract work. Just money. Money. Who will pay me the most amount of money? 56k. Game art. Alright. Uh, how much is a large booth? 1.5 mil. No, we can't do that. We are going to just start with a small booth at G3. Uh, hopefully soon in the future we'll actually be making so much money we can have a big one. But hey, first time there, small booth, like hi, we're Bubble Boy Games. 56k, thank you. Let's, uh... I don't know if I want to do another publishing deal right now. Let's just develop our own game. Medium game, because I feel like they do better. Hmm, there's no nothing. Thinking racing. Ooh, we now can do casual games. The simulation. On the PC. Using Bubble Engine 2. Speed Night! And we'll use 3D Graphics V1. Again, you guys can get some vacation after we develop this game. Jared King, alrighty. Um, yeah, I, I feel like stories in quest should even be lower. Like, basically nothing. I don't feel like stories... Ooh, look at this. Couple thousand, three thousand, five thousand, eight, ten. We have 21.4. Wow, we're getting more than that amount of people coming to see us. Can we break the 60... 53,000 people come to see Bubble Boy Games talk about their new game, Speed Night. 53,000 people didn't make it to the top 100 yet. With 53,000 people, tells you how many people come to that. And there's some hype. Look at that. G3 will hype this. 
The place. Oh, God. They announced it. Okay. Vonies announced the play system. All right. Because I want to, the second that comes out, I would really like to. Uh, I would like to hop on that. Bank accounts in the red. We can make sequels. Soon. Okay, so we are still making this game. Heart Racer. <sighs> Graphics, sound, well designed, yeah. Alright. We are so close to being out of money. So I really need this game to be done fast so we are not bankrupt. Play system. We'll accept your money. We should hopefully be able to, in the future, pay it off. With this new game coming out. Oh. Casual games, right as we put out just a normal simulation game. New combo, good. Uh, mm -hmm. Release the game. Multiplayer 3D Graphics V2. Uh, I hate this, but. Both of you go on vacation before you get so mad you quit on me. Speed Night, please be good. I need a really good game. That's a 10, baby. Oh my god, this might actually get our company back into a good spot. 10s and 9s, yes. It's not going to be a perfect 10. Thank you, Star Games. I love you. Even in just a 9. Yes. This game could be fantastic for us. How many units on the first day? 70. K. 8 rank. Let's go! Alright. Generate game support. Or game report. Research. 3D Graphics V2. Research sequels. Because I'd love to go back to some of our old games. Just start making some... Sequels. Yes, city games. Bubble games. Star games gave it a ten. Right? We we that's exactly what we need right now. Let's get some money rolling in. Uh I don't know what to make a casual game of. Uh with it being casual, I'd like to make a world design's not important. Racing and everyone's great. Self-publishing medium games will be more efficient when we have at least 100k fans. Alright, so... Really, we want to do publishing deals. Develop a sequel. We can go all the way back to Bubble Pets. What if we do that? Bubble Pets. Or we could always go... Ah, the game I didn't name. Where is it? The God's Realm. God's Realm 2. It's going to be so hard to beat that. I say, let's start with Bubble Pets. We're going to do a small game. Bubble Pets 2 Virtual Pet Simulation. Simulation game put on the PC with the bubble engine. What's the, uh... uh oh, is it top? Play System has a lot of the shares. Close the game link. Uh, but for this game, I'd really like PC. Uh, 3D graphics V1. Uh huh. We're just doing a small game. I'm not trying to push the medium game. There's some hype. I got a world that we're working on a new game. Share some interview. Yes. Mm hmm. Virtual pet. Oh, engine over stories and quests for. Fuck it, virtual pet simulation game. Oh, people want casual. Yeah, not making that currently. I'd love to. And yes, I looked at that before I did it. Don't judge me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Little bit of hype popping up for the game. Sound a little bit less, but yes... I would love to put out an adventure game. I feel like we haven't done an adventure game in a while. It'll kind of be a different... We also... I feel like... Oh, a bug came in. Cool. 
Raditz Speed Knight's off the market. Make his 2.8. We have this. No brand new things. Any level ups? Anything, anything? No. But, okay. Just hold on. Reviews for Bubble Pets 2. Nine compared to last time. Oh my god. Bubble Pets 2 surpassing its predecessor. Star Games loves us. I love Star Games. Nine from Game Hero. What the fuck, Informed Gamer? Shut up. One of the best. Informed Gamer can go poop in a bucket. 8.5 for Bubble Pets 2. Bubble Pets. Send on vacation. Bubble, Bubble Boy Games has recently released a sequel to their game Bubble Pets. Their first game. The newest game in the series, titled Bubble Pets 2, was met with great responses. Critics praised that Bubble Pets 2 had a newer engine than the original, really driving technical innovation. Yes, sir. Game report. Gameplay is important. PC simulations, great. Yes. So, publishing deal. Do you have an adventure game? Life casual. Oh, wait. I don't have Master V. I don't want to. I don't care about Master V. I could do dance casual. Yeah. Yeah, dance casual. With the bubble engine too. Sorry, I saw someone outside. But I just realized I'm going over on my time. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Sorry about that. My doorbell just rang. You guys will check that out. I will see you guys in the next video. Boopa, boopa, boopa.